Hello and welcome to Easy Thoughts. We're back again. Another week. It's been a fun week for me. What about yourself? Uh, yeah, it's pretty average. Oh, it's better than not average. I suppose it's better than worse than average. <laughs> it's better than subpar. Anyway, uh, this week is episode 13 and we are discussing conspiracy theories. We are. Everyone, everyone. I think everyone secretly loves a good conspiracy you, yeah, theory. You've got a... whether you're on the side of like you actually like it or um, you find it funny to laugh at. That's sort of the side I'm at. I'm mm. assuming you're the same. Yeah. Some of them, like I, I, I looked into one or two that actually came true. So, Whoa. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's good because that gives us both sides that's of the argument. Interesting. That is. So I guess we'll start with just. Rattle off a few we can think yeah. of before getting into the nitty gritty on our yeah. personal favourites. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to just throw up just straight throw away. Them out there. Flat Earth is obviously Flat Earth. very prominent now. Very close to your heart. Very close to my heart. <laughs> uh, shout out to the official Flat Earth and Globe discussion group. <laughs> uh, is it Nathan Thomas Thompson, something like that? He's a swell guy, I'm sure he's listening. Is he the admin? He's the admin guy, he does videos of him doing stuff. Nice. He reckons he broke the world record for fastest time, well, shortest time taken to say all the flat earth proofs in alphabetical <laughs> order. I watched that. Because that's a record that needs to be broken. <laughs> well, it, I, I don't even know if it was a record that needs to be broken by saying maybe a record that needed setting. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was... I don't know. I enjoy it. I enjoy it in that group. You yeah. know, I find it. I find it funny. I don't quite believe it. They haven't got to be convinced yet. You know. <laughs> but uh, it's good to see some of the trolls going. Yeah. So anyway, the rest of your list. Oh, anti vax. Anti vax. Yeah. We were discussing whether this is actually a conspiracy theory. Yeah. But I think it is. I wasn't it, aware of the whole conspiracy side. Yeah. No, it's all to do with like the government making money and big pharma companies mm. and all that I sort of stuff. I literally just thought it was the autism thing. No, it all stems from that though. Yeah. Um, then you've got obviously Illuminati or Illuminati. personal food. One of the, the lizard people, <laughs> the reptilians controlling the world. That blew my mind. Where is that? Blowing. Bush did 9/11. 9/11, big one. Yeah, big uh, one. there's a lot of assassinations that have been. Yeah, the JFK. Like, I think the JFK one is regarded as the most widely spoken about. So we'll we'll skip that because cool, I just yeah. find it a bit boring as well. Yeah, and the way we were watching something that said. Um, who was it killed John Lennon? Stephen King. Stephen King killed John Lennon. The horror writer. Yeah, he killed John Lennon. Yeah. Uh, that's a fact. That it just is. <laughs> it's just clever. That's not a fact. Um, yeah. Holocaust deniers. Holocaust deniers. I've, otherwise, I've actually learnt about that. Otherwise known as morons. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've learnt morons. That was interesting. Yeah, this could get quite... Oh, what's the word? Intense, maybe, because... I get very annoyed over some of yeah. these, especially yeah. like Holocaust eyes and an anti-vaccine just makes my blood boil. <laughs> it, it, but is there anything you want to add in in terms of uh, any I've missed? What? There's the, the moon landings. Oh yeah, the yeah, moon landings being fake, one. obviously. Uh, not again. Um, there was a lot of conspiracy theories around Jews, right? Back in the day. Um, <clears throat> makes sense. Well. <clears throat> This thing is known as the false flag kind of category of conspiracy. It's right. where a government like stages an attack or whatever to start a war. So, so 9-11 could be one of them. Uh, people said Pearl Harbor, stuff like that. Why would Pearl Harbor... Well, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll get, get into, into that. Uh, what else have I got? And then the one that I found that actually became reality. Oh. Yeah. Uh... I would say just yeah. I'll wait till we. Is this like your fun? Is that gonna be like your fun fact? Have you it's got a fun fact? It's kind. Of, I think that kind of is my fun facts. All right. Well, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. Obviously, we don't just want to just leap yeah. into the fun facts at the start of the episode. Yeah. So, what's your favorite one? My favorite one. Uh. You know what? I don't know. Right. I, I don't know. I think my my favorite is flat earth. No, I'm not a fan of it. I am because it's it, it, it's relatively harmless. It's just sort of ignorance. Yeah. They're, they're not really like actually harming anyone, whereas like anti-vax is actually dangerous and stuff like Holocaust and I are just insulting. Whereas like flat earth, like not many people have really like died over it or anything, have they? Yeah. And they're just sort of just a bit of a mean. <laughs> so I really like it, and because obviously it goes against physics, which I just think is hilarious. 
So that's my my personal favourite. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really have a favourite. Right. Uh, I've devoted a lot of time into Flat Earth as well. <laughs> I joined this group for a laugh and I can now pretty much <laughs> give you most of their arguments for stuff because I've read a lot of it. And it just... Whoa. Could you say that the whole Russian interference with Trump is a conspiracy theory or has that been proven? I don't really know. I don't know either. I just think I know it was in the news. I guess it would probably start as a conspiracy theory and whether it's been... Also, I think it's worth a mention of... Uh, QAnon and them guys on the the internet, so they're like Trump related weirdos. Weirdos. Well, yeah, I looked into it for a bit. It all got I follow a guy on Twitter <laughs> who's big in it calls um, the storm at the storm is upon us or something. All right. Uh, Joe M. It's all like he's all about quite QAnon. High up people being paedophiles, uh, sex rings, stuff as well like five G. Yeah, about it. Uh, that it's really bad for you. Chemtrails as well is all part of that oh, sort of stuff. Chemtrails. It's all about like the government mind controlling using weapons. A lot of it is so out there as well. Like it was crazy. Government mind control is where my fun one comes in. Oh, yeah. I'm excited about that. Yeah. Fluoride in, t- in 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 tap water. Yeah, yeah. There's also the one I just remembered it. Where everyone thinks Hitler survived and went to Argentina. He did. He did. I met the guy. Yeah. No, he didn't. Um, space Nazis. <laughs> space Nazis. I didn't know that was a thing. Nah, I don't think that one's a very serious one, though. No. I think the issue is now, I say issue, uh, with <laughs> conspiracy theories is that a lot of people are just sort of taking them for a joke. So the ones that are serious, and I'll get mixed in with the ones that aren't serious, yeah. uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to know what to believe in this <laughs> land of confusion. Right, yeah. So, yeah. What, what do you want to discuss first? Where one? do we start? Where, where do you where start? Where do we start? In this this crazy world. I think the Illuminati. The Illuminati, yeah. Reptilian people, reptilian Illuminati. So they're like linked to the New World Order, aren't they? Yeah. Who are this supposed group of rich and influential people who apparently just want to control everything. Uh, I don't really know why. Like, controlling everything would just be a bit stressful. It really would. You'd be like, oh, all this stuff's happening, we need to sort this out, there's countries at war, and like, we just... Once you have that much money, why do you even care what anyone else is doing? Just just live your life, man. You don't need to control me. You know. Uh, but yeah. Um, and that includes, like, all organisations, like, the CIA, UN, the CIA, World Health Organisation, World Health Organization, the World Bank, all that sort of stuff, IMF, and they all all the governments and they all answer to the Illuminati which I can only imagine is just Jay Z yeah and then sat on a bed of and money. these people not only do they want to control everyone and rule the world they're also lizards <laughs> <laughs> just to it's just not necessary it makes to take away any sense of credibility from this theory they're like yeah they're also reptiles <laughs> like you could sit there and gen- genuinely listen to someone talk about the Illuminati, and you'd be, you'd be like, all right, okay, yeah, interesting. That's sort of serious yeah. saying interesting. Just have the twenty minute discussion with them. They go, oh yeah. Also, side note, uh, probably should mention this at the start. They're lizards, <laughs> and at that moment, everything you've just heard is they're just completely undermined by the idea that they're not just lizards. They're reptilians that what are like nine foot or something and shape shift yeah. to form human beings. Shifting lizards. And Queen Elizabeth is one of them. Obviously. Oh, naturally. The queen is a lizard. (laughs) Uh, It it just blows my mind. It is a little bit crazy. Before this podcast, we watched a 20-minute video on... It was a Vice video on David Icke. Yeah. Who is... uh, If you don't know who he is, he's a British professional conspiracy (laughs) theorist, is what it says on Wikipedia. He's wrote uh, 20 books and done numerous DVDs, has lectured in... 25 countries around the world some of them for up to 10 hours uh, and he just dropped this lizard thing like it was was nothing and there's like a moon matrix as well to control your mind yeah. my favourite part about that video was the idea that this new world order every Halloween meet at the Isle of Wight <laughs> uh, a sacrificial so- stone sacrifice someone in a ritual way drink the blood and then go crazy yeah. and Stanley Kubrick yeah. The famous uh, film 
directing, directing that Spartacus. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He um he was inside of this this ring, if you like, this group of people and wanted to expose it. And that is the ritual scene you see in um Eyes Wide Shut. That's mm. what that is. That's him exposing so that's him it. trying to expose them. Yeah. Mm. So, and apparently Eyes Wide Shut wasn't like when it came out was sort of brushed aside and people ignored it or whatever. I don't know, I went around. <laughs> But yeah, it was uh, it's all a bit mental. That is interesting. And they also the idea of all like when you see like the queen or the weddings and the coronation and all the ritualistic pomp and circumstance, that's because that's reptilian behaviour. <laughs> they like rituals, so they do all that obviously. Yeah. Because they're reptiles. Why wouldn't they be reptiles? <laughs> It's like just I don't get. Yeah. How. Why did they have to include that? Where did it come from? I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if there's anyone listening who, who is a believer in reptilian New World Order Illuminati stuff, can you please explain to us why <laughs> the reptile thing needs why to be a thing? Why is that bit of the theory necessary? Like, I get, I, I say I get, I understand the rest of it. I can see, you know, some of the arguments or whatever. I, I don't believe them personally, but whatever. Yeah. I, I just, but the reptile bit just sort of. Well, it goes, it goes past me a little bit. I don't, I don't understand. But then, I add my own conspiracy theory based yeah. on this. Yeah. Now, we're about to get pretty deep oh. with this conspiracy theory. And this may be the first you hear of it. It may not be. My conspiracy theory is that the reptiles came up with conspiracy theories, <laughs> like the reptiles controlling the world, to make reptiles controlling the world seem ridiculous so that people wouldn't entertain the idea it's sort of like a double bluff sort of thing and people like David Icke are actually reptiles themselves they're like propaganda agents sent by Queen Elizabeth and George Bush and Tony Blair and to look like absolute idiots sent to look like morons to deter people from looking themselves into the reptiles controlling the world thing Mm -hmm. now I think I'm onto something there maybe it sounds pretty pretty convincing so if you're listening um, New World Order I'm on to you and easy thoughts listeners if this podcast starts getting made in the next like month <laughs> that's all the pro- proof that you need I, I might be dead yeah alright well that was yeah so yeah there you go there's I think we've gone down a, a, a rabbit tunnel yeah. horror thing so to speak and our tales have emerged still fluffy and white <laughs> cause um, yeah right. but it is mental it is Shall we uh, go on to 9-11? Yes. Yes. Always down for that. This has always been a very interesting one. I think it's a little bit sad that um, a tragedy such as 9-11 gets this sort of treatment. Yeah. But uh, obviously nothing safe from crazy people. No. So, so the whole idea is that what the Americans actually do themselves, or the government... Did yeah, themselves. Bush did it because he wanted to go into... Was it Iraq or where it was Iraq, wasn't it? Yeah. For for the oil, basically. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I've actually learned about that at uni as well. The whole oil thing, and it's pretty much just not, you know, not true. All right. Yeah. Is it not? It is a very popular myth. Obviously, the Americans just going for oil, but it it really wasn't the case. Yeah, because it seems to me. Well, that- te- it is oil related, but they're not just there going like, yeah, give the oil, yeah. It was like the world economy at that moment relied on oil. They were like trying to stabilize it, not just yeah, oil, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oil, it was yeah. Much more complex, right? Uh, as most things must be, really. Yeah. Um, so a co- I'm going to come at you with a couple of proofs. Mm. You can't see me. I'm doing the finger mark thing. Quote, unquote. Proofs. Uh, well, jet fuel doesn't melt steel. Ugh. I mean, who's actually tested that? I don't know, but I think you, the thing you're is... You're being told that it doesn't. By conspiracy theorists, and their conspiracy theorists sort of ideals are that don't believe what people are telling you, don't be sheep. Believe what we're telling you yeah. instead, which again is is completely flawed. I, mean, I personally have never tested. I've never tested that. So what? What? I'm, what? I don't know what other people are hearing. I'm hearing we should get our hands on some <laughs> jet fuel yeah. and some industrial some grade steel, steel beams. beams and see if we can melt the steel beams with the jet fuel. Yeah. 
But I think the counter argument to that is, even if it can't, that it is enough to weaken the steel beams. And there was a pretty large impact with the whole aeroplane. Yeah, there was a big plane. It might do a little bit of damage. It was a little bit poof, into the tower. Yeah. yeah. Like they weren't just kind of pouring fuel on it. <laughs> just stood there with a match going, it was it's, not, it's not working, it's not melting. Very large vehicle crashing into it. Uh, and there was two of them. There was, yeah. Yeah, uh, there was also the other thing that the Pentagon one. The Pentagon. There's no yeah. plane in any of the pictures that you see. Is it not? There's, I've looked, there isn't. There's no yeah. evidence of any plane mm. or something. So, Ooh. cue uh, conspiracy theory music. Thank you, Kieran. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to think of it. I haven't spent much time into trying to prove 9-11 actually happened. Oh, yeah. I, the proof that I sort of think is that Bin Laden accepted responsibility, which I guess, why would he do that if he wasn't actually trying to be a terrorist? Could very easily have been an actor, Will. Oh, uh, yeah, obviously. Who, who knows if that was actually Bin Laden on that video? Yeah. My favourite thing about all the sort of conspiracy stuff is that if there is anything that is sort of seems to sort of debunk or whatever it is either fake it is either CGI or it's an actor yeah none of them are just people actually telling the truth <laughs> the only people that tell the truth are the people who agree with them mm. that's what annoys me yeah. so yeah what do you guys reckon was 9-11 an inside job I just think the whole idea of that is just debunked by the fact that America didn't want a war. Yeah. In my opinion. I also don't think they'd kill that many people. I feel they could have done something. At, at this time, I actually have an informed opinion as well. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. But I, another thing is, I feel like if it was just so they could invade and do what, they didn't need it to be that dramatic. They could have just faked WMDs again. Fake like, what? You know, the, the Iraq invasion before that one. Yeah. Where they just faked weapons of mass destruction. They claimed those weapons. Oh, was that the same one? I don't know. No, the the nine eleven did not lead to Afghanistan. Was that Afghanistan? I thought Afghanistan was later. I think there was two Afghanistan. I don't know. You remember that bit about a minute right, ago? Where he was like, <laughs> I have an informed opinion on this. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you just, I don't I know. I have an informed opinion on the oil bit. Right. So a small yeah. chunk of this. But, whole so 2003 thing. was the whole, we're going to war because the Iraqis have got weapons of mass destruction with Tony Blair and George Bush, wasn't it? Yeah, but that's when the attacks were, wasn't it? September 11, 2001. No, 2001. Is that that invasion? Or did you're gonna have to check? Cause I haven't got a clue. Uh, weirdly, I don't know much about American history. I'm I'm not a historian. Is that what is that what Operation Desert Storm was? That was in like the eighties. Oh, uh, because that's a cracking game. Oh, it was yeah. That was very was fl- very hard. Yeah. I love that game. But it was a good game. Good game. Desert Storm. Um, there needs to be more games like that now. Yeah. I don't think Ireland was an inside job. No. Because there was the one where the the over the over did the hijackers and crashed it into a field, wasn't there? That was supposed to be the White House. Yeah, I think that was pretty cool. Well, I say cool, sort of sad, but in terms of heroism, the people on that flight were very much heroes, as were all the firefighters and stuff. Mm. It's just sad, really. I always get really sad after these podcasts. I just realise how terrible the world is. Yeah, so they did invade Afghanistan after 9-11, not Iraq. Right, sorry. Correct ourselves. Afghanistan instead of Iraq. So surely that wasn't anything to do with oil then. I don't think Afghanistan has a right lot of it. (laughs) So basically we've just chatted absolute rubbish about that. But whatever. I mean, that's what conspiracy theories are. We've blurred two conspiracies into one there with 9-11 and oil. Is that not what conspiracy theories are? Maybe. Just chatting shit and... Joining up imaginary dots. Yeah. I think we've we've done well there with yeah. that one. <laughs> we got a little bit confused. Yeah, what it happens? It's a very confusing situation, isn't it? What else we got? What else we got? We're saving flat out till the end. Are we? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. We've done Illuminati. We've done nine eleven. There was a. I didn't mention it, but there's the. This is sort of linked into the Illuminati. The Rothschilds. Rothschilds. Yeah, I think. They there's are. like three banks or something in the three countries where the capital city doesn't have 
a Rothschild bank, and there were prior to that there was like six, and of that six, the three that have been turned over have all been invaded by America, <laughs> and it's like who's next? Dun dun dun! Rothschilds are coming to get you, so they can have more money than the apparent five hundred trillion they already have. <laughs> these people are, but you know because. Obviously, you need more than that. At that point, you don't need more money. No, but, you know, what else you got to do? <laughs> <laughs> you just keep making more money. You can't spend it, can you? Because if you were on all the world banks, you can't spend it. <laughs> um, Did you see that? I don't This isn't so much conspiracy theory. Do you remember the, that Snowden thing? Yeah. WikiLeaks. Yeah. Yeah. That was intense. Have you seen the film on that? I haven't. It's very good. Yeah, I've heard. It's a great film. I was very much like, whoa, after it. That's the guy who worked for the government and leaked all these Edward stuff. Edward Snowden. Yeah, that they were, the, what were they, they were spying on people or something? The NSA, yeah. Yeah. What was that thing, like a few years ago, the Panama Papers, where like, a load of papers got leaked about loads of politicians and really famous people all having like offshore accounts and being really corrupt and not paying taxes and like nothing ever happened about it. Well, I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. 11.5 million leaked documents that detail financial and attorney client information for more than 214,488 offshore entities. The documents date March the 1970s were created by and taken from Panamanian law film and corporate service provider Mosak Fonseca and were leaked in 2015 by an anonymous source. I'm sure someone like David Cameron or something was on it. Yeah, well, the, that one. Yeah, because didn't you say you knew nothing about it? I can't remember what happened, but I feel like nothing really happened. In addition to much covered business dealings of British Prime Minister David Cameron and Icelandic Prime Minister not going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> the leaked documents also contain identity information about the shareholders and directors of 214,000 shell companies set up by Mozak Fonseca. Wow. So, yeah. It doesn't really... Um, it just says responses, allegations. Thief. It led to the FIFA investigation. What? Mm. That's funny. I need a separate... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... I feel like <clears throat> people aren't doing enough to respond to these things. Like, that is that was a major thing. People, people should have been more annoyed. People just kind of don't care. People should have been a lot more annoyed about that. Ah, uh, that brings me straight into my fun conspiracy. Here we go. Yeah, so this was a well, conspiracy. Well, well, hang on. I, I have to do the thing first. All right. Criteria, again, we're going to go over it. Any new listeners out there, you'll pick this up week by week. Every week, Karen has a fun fact. I rate the fun fact out of 10, where a 10 being, it makes me go, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's, we yet to have a 10, I think the highest of that's a 7. Seven, two 7s. Sevens. Two 7s, but they in a row. They were in a row, you went four seven seven. Right, yeah. Okay. So, anyway. Take it away. Right, so, <clears throat> back it in the, I think it was mid-50s to mid-70s, mm-hmm. uh, there was a thing called, by the CIA, Called Operation MK Ultra. Oh, that's a cool name. Already. People might have heard of this. Like, I think it's not not as, you know, whatever. I haven't heard of it. Yeah. Right. So that's enough that's for enough. it. It's met the criteria for fact. I uh, haven't heard of it. Basically, the CIA were experimenting with mind control. Whoa. They wanted to uh, basically create a way of forcing people to tell the truth. Yeah. Wow. Well. And. Uh, by controlling their minds, basically, um, so, and they wanted to do that to like do it on Russian agents and convert them. And yeah, whatever. makes sense. Yeah, obviously. So they literally just like <clears throat> they would take prisoners, they would take mentally ill patients, they would like exploit sex workers and stuff, and like drug them with LSD and all kinds of different stuff to attempt to control their minds and they would be like watching from behind their little two way mirror thing while these people were just like on loads of drugs yeah CIA actually did that and it Holy was shit. proven and people are okay with that I 
the Did Iraqi not know government that. still exists. <laughs> and that is incredible. Just to reiterate, my face was in utter shock. <laughs> I mean, that that isn't. That's supposed to be fun facts. <laughs> <laughs> fun fact. I've... Fact. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Fun. That wasn't. That wasn't fun. Imagine if that happened today. People I do remember something to do with LSD. It did, was there a thing? Now, this could be absolute shite one about to. <laughs> Didn't they put LSD into the water supply of a town? Uh, Someone... I, I've, I've read this. I don't know if this was a conspiracy theory. I feel theory. like I've heard this. I feel like it was maybe a French town? Oh, I don't know. Maybe... Yeah, I'm going to just go quickly Google it. Oh, it's an enduring myth. There you go. Yeah. It's an urban legend. Uh, but, yeah. So, that was wrong. Sorry. Uh, I never rated you fun fact. Uh, in terms of fun, that was that's got to be a zero. <laughs> in terms of facts, you've told me it was facts. So I'm giving it a ten of that. Interesting. It was very interesting. So simply because it's fun fact, you're getting a you're getting a, a five. Whoa. If it was just interesting fact, maybe I'd be we need you... to change the name of this because what I find to be fun facts, apparently <laughs> other people don't find fun. Was that fun for you? It's... I it, find, it's horrifying. I find interesting things fun. All right, yeah, but you know, whatever. It uh, didn't make me do the noise. <laughs> it made me be silent. Well, yeah, I just think that was absolutely mental. It is mental. You're right. I'm not disagreeing with you. Yeah, that imagine, is insane. Imagine if like Trump did that. They'd be abuse people into taking drugs to try and control their minds. Well, I mean, Trump breathes, and people get annoyed about it. So, yeah, yeah that's brutal. That is. I can't... Are you actually... They actually did that? Yeah. On how much of a large scale? Uh, fairly large. Like, it went on for quite a few years. Oh, dear. I don't know what actually happened when it got found out or how it got found out. I just know that it is true. Yeah. You see, if I was, like, a government, I'd write all my dirty secrets on paper. Or not at all. Yeah. Um, because... I'd, I'd now be worried about hackers. Yeah. Didn't someone hack into, like, the Pentagon from Scotland? It was, like, a 13-year-old guy. Because <laughs> there was that thing on the news where the Americans were trying to get the British to surrender him because he hacked. Yeah. He hacked the Pentagon or something. He hacked something, yeah. And he just, he just asked him why, and he was like, because can. <laughs> he didn't do anything. He just proved he could do it. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, I'd, I'd write all my, my dirty secrets on on a piece of paper, which if you've seen National Treasure 2 <laughs> as the President's book. Yeah, oh, that book. Just the idea of that book. Is mint. It'll be so fun to read. I mean, National Treasure, great films. <laughs> Solid 10 out of 10, both of them. Definitely. Nick Cage is the greatest actor of all time. Um, yeah. I wouldn't surprise me if he was the head of the Illuminati, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. He obviously knows a lot about it because he started in them films. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that pres- Area Fifty One. We haven't talked about that. Area Fifty One. Yeah. Aliens have come to Earth. What do you reckon? Well, I there is reckon there no. is actually like a real thing that they have built that's just ready to like warehousing stuff that's just ready to store things that potentially will come from space. Right. Uh, they they admitted that they do exist, but I don't think anything's actually in it yet. Seems like a bit of a waste of a building. Well. Could they not have built it when there was something to store? I don't know. Or maybe you need to be ready. What if there's something to store is dangerous? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I don't think aliens have come to Earth. No, same. Because, surely, just because of, like, how much further ahead their technology would have to be than ours. Even if you think, say if someone's technology was a thousand years on. Yeah. If they had the technology that they could travel at light speed, which I doubt, um they'd still have to travel for a, a very long time because of how far away stuff in space is. Yeah. So unless they come from inside our own solar system, which I think would be common knowledge by now, Shelley, we'd be able to see it. We can yeah. see most of it. Then I don't think that anyone's come yet. Well, it is a conspiracy for you. Oh. What if a big alien race or lots of alien races do exist and... Are you going to say we're a simulation? No. That should be true. And they're... Uh, not interfering with us because they're like preserving us like how you get Native American reservations 
and nature reservations. We're just in a big globe-sized nature reservation that they're not touching. We're like that tribe or yeah. what is it? Sentinel um, Island or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, they're just not touching us. How, how do you like that one? Nice. Yeah. Go, go then. <laughs> so what you're saying is that what they've done is previously on Alien Civilization Season 2 they have looked at planets like us, been yeah. there, and ruined everything. Yeah. So now they've learned from that mistake. And they've seen us, us, and they're just like, "We'll just leave them primitive." And like, way. just how like the world today looks at these Amazon tribes and whatnot, who have made no human contact, uh, and they look at them and they're like, "You know what? We'll we'll just wait for them. We'll wait for them to catch up or whatever. We won't interfere with them. They're doing that to us. They're like they're looking at Earth and like." Oh bless them! They can't, <laughs> they can't travel through galaxies and stuff. We'll just, we'll just leave them be. Yeah. Yeah. I like that idea. That's nice. nice intergalactic conspiracy theory for you there. Mm. What do you reckon to um, the idea of us being in a simulation? That's less conspiracy theory. I always found that one just a bit boring. Do you not find it weird? Yeah. Like it could well be true. It'd be a very very complex simulation. Well, we have complex simulations on on in this simulation, don't we? Not not as complex as. Karen, have you played The Sims? Yeah, it's not as complex <laughs> as real life. You don't know what they're saying. All those symbols come up on is. Like having a simulation with seven. What are we like at seven and a half yet? Seven point. We're oh, past, no. aren't we? Like seven billion people all doing their own thing and conversations. That is a very in-depth simulation. You need a big computer. You I don't really also see why they do it. Yeah, why are they simulating this? Either way, if it is a simulation, it's a pretty good one. Yeah, I'm good a, job. I'm having fun. Good job. Cheers, Mr. Simulator. Well, I think it's time to go on to Flat Earth. Right, yeah. <clears throat> so... For anyone who doesn't know <laughs> what the conspiracy theory of the flat Earth is, it's the idea that the Earth is flat and that governments and things like NASA and I'm assuming that the European Space Agency is well involved in this and yeah. all the other ones are lying to us because if the flat Earth model is true and we are the centre of our solar system and also the universe, I think, then we're not as insignificant as we're made out to feel by the globe model which says we're not the centre of anything and we are just in fact a tiny little speck in an ever expanding universe and we mean nothing to anyone mm. thoughts? Mm. I'm going to start saying show me the curve <laughs> show me the curve show you the curve you can't can you? it's because the earth is flat <coughs> so I've, I've been in this group You've been in that for a while now. Yeah, and I have engaged. I've engaged in it, and what's that? I've just got a text off the FBI that says, stop <laughs> recording this podcast. Well, uh, no. Um, so I've, I've engaged in the group. I've, I've posted, I've commented, or whatever. I've posted a few things, and it very much seems to me that anything that you say that they don't know how to come up with a proof, again proof in the marks uh, for it not being true uh, they just say is fake, so gravity isn't real it's made up and it's fake up. and the only reason it exists is to make theories like that work um, space is completely fake, mm. NASA's just all CGI <laughs> uh, all the astronauts and stuff are just actors uh, it's all just mental and then they just come up with stuff and then, like, they're just like, well, you know, it says this or whatever, and you have to believe that because anything you say, I'm just going to tell you is fake, not true, or whatever. And you're just a bit like, well, what's the point in actually attempting to argue with these people? I, I just don't get the point of it. I just, so we're not insignificant. Yeah, but why does that matter? Well, there makes, are... The being insignificant bit apparently makes us easier to control. It goes back to this thing right, that governments yeah. and some sort of world order thing are trying to control us right like but whether I feel significant or insignificant that does not alter 
like how controllable I am. Yeah, what makes me think me to control is like laws and the punishment that yeah. follows them if I don't obey them. <laughs> not whether that's flat. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to go into like the details on how the sun works and stuff. Like apparently the sun is localized in, like, instead of 150 million kilometers. I think it is. Yeah, it's like 3,000 miles above the surface of a flat disk. Uh, and that's why when you see like the sun coming through the clouds, they're at angles and not just straight lines. Right. Crazy times. Yeah. Um, so there's also about that. There's a dome. Some people say there's a dome. Some people say there isn't a dome. A glass dome over the not glass, some sort of <laughs> call it the firmament or firmament or something like that uh, over the flat disk. Yeah. And then the the, the ice the Antar- Antarctica is actually an ice wall all the way around the disk. And no one's ever actually crossed Antarctica because the people who have crossed Antarctica haven't actually gone across all of Antarctica. They've just walked a bit of it. Mm. Which is mental again. But a lot of them also seem to believe in like anti vaccine and stuff. So, my general sort of grasp of most conspiracy theories, to, if I was doing a summation, yeah. would be that. It's all about control. It's all about control. And stuff like anti-vax is controlling us and pharmaceutical companies making money and and they're obviously oh, all controlling. Pharmaceutical companies, that's another one. Oh yeah, they have the cure for cancer, they're just hiding it to make more money. I mean, that seems plausible, to be honest. It is that's plausible. one I could believe. But I also don't think that would happen. The, pe- the person who actually discovered the cure for cancer would have said... Yeah, you'd think someone involved in it would... Be nice, yeah, and not just a money grabbing. Because even if, like, you can still make money. Yeah, the cancer would make you a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I don't believe that. Kev cancer one. I can see it's probably yeah, like you said, it's more, one of the more plausible ones. Yeah. Plus, there's just less involved. Money is the know, root of all evil. Nice. Um. So then, and then like anti-vax as well. Which just tilts me beyond all <laughs> things. It's very annoying. They're like, oh my god, look, measles is still happening. Like, yeah, the only reason measles is still happening is because you lot keep telling people not to vaccinate the kids. <laughs> Absolute tools. So then there's measles outbreaks and the like, vaccines don't work. It's like, they do work. The reason that's back is because you, you're not having your kid vaccinated and other people haven't. I saw a thing where for an 18th birthday, a kid got his vaccinations. Yeah. Because his, like, mum had stopped him I was about having to, them. I was about to mention, like, I see on Reddit a lot about, like, kids posting, like, I'm only 13, how do I get vaccinated? My parents won't let me. And it's just so sad to see I'd that. <laughs> probably throw many tantrums it's, about that. Like, imagine if you're, you know, a, I was going to say an intelligent teenager. You don't have to be intelligent, just... A normal teenager, and like your parents won't let you get vaccinated. I'd, I'd be livid. I'd be so annoying. <laughs> I just like occasionally just do things like smash up the TV and just for a laugh, just be like vaccinate me. I'll stop doing it, please. Um, or just, I'd be horrible. I'd be a horrible child intentionally. Yeah. It would be like dirty process. I'd just randomly just start crapping on the sofa and stuff. <laughs> Oh. Vaccinate me! Urinating in the tea. Vaccinate me, please! <laughs> just because it's just, it's just idiotic and moronic. Oh, have you been vaccinated? Yes. Normally. As a human human being should be. I've been vaccinated. Are we fine? Yeah. Are we both relatively intelligent people? That's it. We've so. both made it to university. I've never had any of the things I've been vaccinated for. I have, don't have... I don't think I have a form of autism. <laughs> you could well be on the spectrum. I haven't had myself tested, so chances are I don't. You know, yeah. it's just ridiculous. It's just daft, and that is one of my least favorite ones because it is actually damaging. Yeah. Sorry, like the flat Earth people being all they're wearing just, their tinfoil hats. They're just yeah, they're just making themselves look like idiots. Like the anti-vax people make themselves look like idiots, and they're actually damaging. Because it's getting bigger somehow, <laughs> God knows how, but it's getting bigger, and people less and less people. It shouldn't be a choice. It just shouldn't be a choice. Mm. It should be made like mandatory. I think a few countries have it like that. Like we've just the UK has just made organ donation a mandatory thing, hasn't it? Has it? Yeah, it's a it's a law named after two kids. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Because one of the, the kid got a transplant because one of the kid's parents was like, yeah, take what you want. And she said that kid who died, tragically, and that's really sad, obviously, has saved like four, four, four or five lives, I think it is. Mm-hmm. So they've now decided to make... Uh, like organ donation and opt out instead of an opt in. Yeah. So you can still say you don't want it to happen, but then I'm just going to take it as it's happening unless you say so, sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the kid who got his life saved got a letter from the Prime Minister mm-hmm. saying that was what's going to happen, which I thought was very cute. Lovely jubbly. Uh, yeah, lovely, lovely Teresa. Uh, shame about the rest of the stuff she's doing, but <laughs> what ifs? What else is it? It's a shame she's a wizard. Yeah. yeah, it's a shame she's a lizard. Theresa May does look a bit like a yeah, lizard. Yeah, so if anyone was going to be the downfall of the lizard people, it'd be Theresa May, because <laughs> she actually is one, and acts like one. Oh, dear. She's like a genetically damaged shapeshifted lizard. She can only partially shapeshift. <laughs> so she's made herself smaller and covered herself in human skin, but still she's has lizard, lizard features. Like qualities. <laughs> like that dance when she went out on the stage. She looks a bit like a lizard then. <laughs> she did. She did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's just going to Downing Street. She's just there basking on a rock under a light. <laughs> so I thought you were sorting out Brexit. She just sticks her tongue out. No. <laughs> Needs heat. <laughs> Some weird lizard woman, but uh, yeah, the world of conspiracy theories is. You could go on for hours. It is a hell of a place. I think we'll definitely revisit it at some point. We'll have to do them individually. Yeah, well, this one's been a nice, wide, broad approach, covering each one for like a few minutes. So we need to, we need to go deeper. Yeah, I like maybe each do one side of the argument Ooh. can we alternate if we did that though because I don't want to be the conspiracy theorist every <laughs> week <laughs> yeah so yeah there's an idea yeah um, so yeah I guess so, that yeah. brings us to the end shall we wrap that one up then yeah mm-hmm. I've enjoyed it I enjoy. I always enjoy a good conspiracy theory a good theory. one yeah uh, so next week's episode episode 14, 14 yeah uh, it's going to be another one of our little, what Will called earlier. I like that phrase that you coined. Coined the phrase. Coined the phrase. Uh, one of our thought experiments. So our previous ones being zombie apocalypse, the surviving zombie a desert island. And the, the history ones were kind of thought experiments. Like what would happen if. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a thought experiment. It's going to be, we're going to be going through the process of founding our own country. I'm excited. I am excited too. I just, I, we'd be great. Yeah, yeah, we can get into that. I mean, one week. of our things could be that we have mandatory vaccination. Yeah, <laughs> straight off the bat. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be founding our own country next week. I hope you're excited for that. Uh, you know, I always love a good thought experiment episode. Yeah. It's some of my favourites. It's uh, just that they just you don't know where you're going to go with it. Yeah. It's nice to just sit and then. Yeah. Take that journey. Yeah, a lot of our episodes. Um, are loosely planned, I'd say. Oh, definitely. We know roughly what we're going to talk about, but we don't know what's going to be said. Yeah. So stuff like thought experiments tend to be one of my f- some of my favourite ones because of wild. Yeah, yeah. it's like whew. wild thoughts. It's like you've getting on a roller coaster, you've no idea where it's going to go. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a song, right? It is definitely yeah. a song. Yeah, you aren't. <laughs> well, you just think you've written a hit just in your head. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So uh, thank you for listening. Get on the social media. Oh, the poll. We never mentioned the poll. Oh, yeah, the poll. I hate you all. Seychelles. No. Seychelles won. St. Lucia is definitely a better thing. Seychelles is yeah, min. Yeah. Congratulations to the Seychelles. Yeah, we have any listeners from the Seychelles, which I doubt, but <laughs> well done. Your flag yeah, won. Flag. St. Lucia, a very close second place. <laughs> Dayton's got one and it was himself. So that's funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so yeah, that was that. But yeah, anyway, thank you for listening once again. Uh, get on social media, follow us on our pages, like, subscribe, all that jazz. See you next week. Yep, tune in next week. Goodbye and uh, stay easy.